Hey everyone, it's Aaron Flutter here, and in an effort to bring you guys some new content when it comes to these weekly plan with me's, I have decided to start doing a um, inspired by series from these from these weekly setups. So this week I am going, and I'll probably do it like once a month. It it'll kind of depend, um, but. Some bullet journalers have a very iconic style when it comes to um, their weekly spreads or their monthly spreads or something like that. So I decided to uh, use Nicole from Plans That Blossom and her iconic style where she does some of these um, daily hybrids with trackers and all that kind of stuff. So I decided to incorporate a lot of that into my spread this time. So thank you to Nicole. Um, I'm really excited about the series mostly because I have been kind of in a rut bullet journal wise because I've been really busy. And so when you're stressed, you don't bullet journal as much, but you need your bullet journal more. And it's this like never ending cycle of terrible and it just has kind of gotten me in a planner rut. So I am excited about this series because trying new styles and falling in love with my bullet journal again is really important to me because I haven't been feeling that way. So I am doing these rounded corner with a few different kinds of trackers and then I added my own little quote in here. Um, obviously not my quote, it's something that I found on Pinterest or whatever. It says, be awesome, be you. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward you through. By the way, if you guys liked my voiceover with Q&A, let me know if you want me to incorporate that more into these weekly setups. That way it's something, again, some new, newer type of content for these weekly plan with me's um, because I know that they can get kind of repetitive because I haven't been changing up my style a lot. So I'm hoping that these types of videos inspire you guys and inspire me a little bit more. So let me know if you want some of those Q and A's um, for these weekly plan with me's because I'll for sure do that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and I will see you on the other side. So that is it for this spread. Um, I had these lines drawn up so much better, but then I just really didn't feel like using my straight edge with it. So I just freehanded it. Um, Nicole does a much better job at hers, but I, I just needed to freehand today. So basically um, I use my giraffe pattern going atop the headers here, which, oh my gosh, I love this so much. And um, you'll probably see this uh, type of pattern header situation repeated, just a forewarning for you. So I decided to include a self-care section. So things like face masks, paint nails, um, maybe take a day off, of any sort of work, you know, that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna um, kind of think about that a little bit later and fill in the rest of the things. 
Um, I'm again not really sure what I want to track for my habits. Um, I know like my general three, four that I usually track, but I have some other things that I want to track as well, like maybe my water intake and things like that. Um, I also have a video to da list, which is a to do list, but it'll be a miracle if it gets done. So it is called a to da list. Um, I'm not taking any credit for that. I saw that on a ton of different places. Um, I think I heard about it first on Cindy Guntrabaldo's um, podcast, maybe, The Young Curated Life. I'll link that below because I probably heard it there first. Um, so that video to da list. So these are the things that I am trying to get ahead of because I will be in uh, Iceland for my honeymoon. So I need to pre-record a lot of those videos. So that is my video to doll list. If you have ideas for videos that you want to see in the meantime, please let me know here. If it has to do with my office, that is not going to happen because my office won't be done until probably about July. So you can look forward to seeing my new office video sometime in July. But if it has anything to do with my space, then that's not going to happen and I'm sorry about that. Um, on each of the days I'm going to fill in with this mild liner um, if I did that task or not and then on where the black, not the black, the brown spots are that is going to be my weather and the other spots uh, Nicole uses for kind of drawing like a highlight of your day so I'm going to try that as well, I don't think I'll be as successful as her, but we'll see how it goes. Um, overall, I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. I really like this color scheme. It feels a lot more muted. It feels a lot more safe. Um, and I need a little bit of safety cushion right now because I've been going a little nuts, as you guys may have heard in my voice for the last uh, few videos. It's It's been a little rough. But... I'm excited about this weekly. I'm excited to try Nicole's style. Um, again, I'll have all of her information links below so that you can check out her, uh, follow her on Instagram, all that kind of stuff. Follow me on Instagram at Aaron Floated Designs to see this uh, cleaned up a little bit more. And uh, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that kind of jazz, and I will see you later. Bye, everyone.